Move the chains. The end zone YouTube. Let's move the chains. We're talking New Orleans Breakers defensive end Davin Bellamy. Before we get into it, make sure to join the Discord with the link in the description for USFL. We also talk XFL and other leagues there. But today, Davin Bellamy is who we're going to talk about. The star of the show. Not only was he exciting on the field, but you got to see him trash talking, talking to the offensive line, talking to the opposing team's defenses. He ended with three sacks, three tackles for loss, four solo tackles, and six total tackles. He was nothing short of electric. In the very first play, he got Brian Scott, hit him so hard that his helmet flew off. And from that moment, there was a sense that this star's offensive line could do nothing to stop the Breakers' defense because the defense ended with six total sacks on the day, and they were pressuring the Stars very much so. The Stars finally found some success really in the third quarter, not so much the fourth quarter where they scored 10 points in the third, but this defense was incredible to watch, and I was at the game watching Davin Bellamy every single play. It was obvious He is going to be a mismatch in this league at defensive end. He was getting past, getting to the quarterback, getting pressures, getting hits, and it felt like Davin Bellamy was the best player on the field every time he was out there. They had to account for him. They had to look out for him. And then the other players on this defensive line also did a really, really fine job. We got to see... A lot of action and a lot of fun plays. How about Andre St. Amour? I don't know if I'm saying his name right. He was the other defensive end who got two tackles for loss and a sack because they were pressuring Brian Scott all day, getting hits on him and making it really tough. I cannot wait to watch this defense. I would like to see more from the offense. I was expecting a lot more from Kyle Sloter and company. But again, these offenses in the USFL... Only have had three weeks. We know the defenses are going to be ahead, especially of those offensive lines. And that's kind of what we saw so far in week one. We still have one more game to go. I'd love to know your opinions down below. Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains.